welcome back. You are watching DXB today, and today we're focused entirely on the Dubai Fitness Challenge 30 by 30, and our next guest couldn't be better for the show. Joining us now is an Australian personal trainer, author, and entrepreneur, a global fitness sensation. She has revolutionized the health and wellness industry with her body guides and sweat app. Please welcome back to the show. Here, joining us back in the studio, Kayla, Hello. it's seen us. Thank you for having me, guys. I'm having a real fangirl moment right now. <laughs> we could because... tell, by the way. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I've been a little shameless. I've been really, yeah. I, I mean, I love the sweat app. And first of all, let's talk about what you're doing in Dubai. We know why you were here last time. Is it for similar reasons? Yes, Dubai Fitness Challenge, Dubai Active. It is gonna be an absolutely epic, epic time. Um, got a boot camp on Sunday from four to five. So I'll see you guys there. Yep. yep, apparently you will. <laughs> I love the fact that you, whenever you come over and you visit Dubai, you're always so positive. You love coming here. I love coming here. But, but like, why? Because Australia's home. But yeah, but why is Dubai such a positive place for you? Dubai is just one. Okay, firstly, I love the heat. So okay. number one. Two, I think like the lifestyle here is absolutely amazing. Everything is so accessible. Everything is beautiful. Everybody is kind. Everyone, there's culture here. Not saying Australia doesn't have culture, but where I am at the top of Australia in Queensland, in the Gold Coast, there isn't much and there's a lot here. And it just feels a little bit more like home because I was raised in a Greek family and it's just really, really nice. Oh, nice. Kayla, can I ask you something? Yes, of course. <laughs> no, you may not. <laughs> this is not the time or the place. <laughs> okay, fine. Um, I guess this is my first time at Dubai Active, so I'm a bit nervous and I don't know what to expect. Can you give me some of your favorite things about Dubai Active. Okay, so my favorite things about Dubai Active is the inclusion for women, the fact that they, they motivate you, they inspire you, you leave there, you can come alone, but you leave with friends. Like it's community based, there's so much to see, there's so much to do, there's education everywhere that you look, and there is honestly the best partners, the best brands are there, and everyone is so willing to help. And you, get, you walk around and it doesn't matter who you are, there's free things to do, there's workouts to do, there's Q and A's. It's absolutely the most incredible place to be on the weekend. This, this is why I love Dubai. <laughs> I mean, this is why we love having you here. Uh, it's your second time on the show. Uh, apart from uh, Active and what you're doing with 30 by 30, what else has been going on in your life? What have you been up to? Well, really exciting news, which I could only just say today. I won't say the name, but we actually just signed, I'll just say a Middle Eastern based trainer. Um, so just the sweat up. So that is really exciting coming out very soon. So that's also what I'm doing here. So. Why do you think it's so important for you to have that then? Well, we've, ne we've never had it before and it's something that is requested, something that's wanted, something that's needed. Um, and I've spoken to so many women here and it's just something that is brought up every single time I come to Dubai. So I'm so happy to be able to offer that. Love it. Now, Kayla. I need to understand something. Okay. And I don't mean this to come off the wrong way, but you don't need to be here right now. I mean, <laughs> you're a hustler. You've got it. You've, you've got the app. You've, you've made a name for yourself internationally. What keeps you going? What keeps you wanting to, I don't know, rack up the goals and keep ticking off that list? I mean, your schedule must be insane on a day-to-day -day basis. I can't even it's imagine. It's insane, but I started because, one, I love fitness. I love personal training. That's what I, what I am foremost. But I love the community. Like I love, the reason I started personal training and with women is because so many women came to me without community, without family, without culture. And because I came from a Greek family, I wanted to build that. And the more I travel, especially with Dubai Active, I get to build that community and get to feel that culture. It fulfills me knowing that other people feel like they have a family within mine. That's, that's what drives me to do what so I do. So selfless. Give me a selfish answer. That's what I was looking <laughs> at. Joking. Well, I was You're actually going to ask something perhaps a little bit more because there seems to be a lot of pressure on you, right? There, there could be. Are there any challenges you faced along the way with this pressure? It's the pressure that only pressure that I ever felt was after having kids, because like you known as the queen of abs, you're doing all these workouts, you're traveling the world, doing these boot camps. Then you have kids, and like no joke, it felt like my life came to a complete standstill when I had a cesarean, and I was so unprepared because so many people, I felt like they lied to me. They're like, oh, you're fit and you're healthy, and you're just gonna like bounce back and all those words that were just so frustrating after I had my daughter. And then it was like this just pressure yeah. to, to get back. And I, I realized very quickly that you never get back. You, Leanna, you're it's you're coming reborn. for you. you know, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I did want to ask uh, when it comes to, you know, being a fitness, fitness influencer or someone who gives advice, there's so many people doing it now. Every day there's a new influencer and they're all giving lots of different advice. 
What would you say is the most important philosophy to have if you're gonna be advising people when it comes to their health and their bodies? Um, look, I get asked this question a lot and in Dubai a lot. There is a big difference between, I think, in my world, um, and especially in Australia, so there's personal trainers, there's fitness influencers, there's athletes and there's just models and celebrities and people and the lines are so blurred who and who to listen to and what advice to take. So really it's about doing your own research, like what qualifications, how like how comfortable do you feel with this person when you're on their profile? Do they make you feel good? Are they inspiring? Are they motivating like you? Like, like I just said off the show, I just said you when I look at your profile, you are so motivating. You are so inspiring. You're so articulate. You make people feel comfortable. You make me feel comfortable when you're speaking like you're I, literally when I when I met you the other day, we met in the gym and I said, she's so beautiful. Her soul, she looks like she's hugging you with her eyes. And that's the people that you want to follow. Like you don't want to follow people who are just go showing you their routines or they've had all these surgeries and you're like, you're trying to like live up to this unattainable standard. It's just, yeah. Thank you. I honestly, I was literally sitting here looking at you, like thinking about the same thing whenever I met you in the gym as well. I guess even me looking at you, it's like you're an inspiration for me in many ways because I'm on kind of like, I started before you and you started so early on. And so I think I have a question for you of like, I guess with your app and everything, how do you not like compare yourself in many ways with social media? I guess it being such a different space from when you started from now, like after having all this success and everything, obviously that doesn't fill the void of like still wanting to, you know, commute, like be with your community and everything. But do you compare yourself now still, even after achieving all this success? I've never, I don't know why, maybe it was how I was brought up. I've never compared myself to anyone ever. And I think because I was raised in my Greek family, I was raised in Adelaide and they're very humbling. Like my grandparents, I swear to you, they still don't know what I do. <laughs> like my grandparents are very old school. And so like, it's like no phones. It, like I fill my cup with my family and, and my culture. And for me, comparing myself to someone is so just, I watch it every day with women. I watch what it does to them and it just wrecks them every single day. And I come to Dubai and I, not you guys, but I get a lot of questions from other people and it's so old school and I'm like, what are you doing? You're literally killing yourself for what? So I, I've never done it. I think that's why I have a following. I mean, that is incredible. A comparison is a thief of joy. Yeah, absolutely, that. absolutely. <laughs> like you can never be anyone else. Like even if you're obsessed with well, whoever it is, let's just name a celebrity. Like Selena Gomez. Like is with you, uh, just yeah. a little bit. <laughs> You know, we were gonna compare biceps, but I didn't want to embarrass her. But you know what I mean? Like, you'll never be that person. That will never be you. Yeah. So like, why would you strive so hard to look or be like someone else when you literally can only ever be yourself? Like, that's what it comes down to. Kayla, before we let you go, I want that one piece of advice that you give everybody watching that, to, to have a healthier tomorrow, a better journey, a next a step towards a brighter, healthier person. I mean, if I could say, if I could say anything to people who won, a lot of people here, they're like, I hate health and fitness. Not I hate health and fitness, I just hate fitness. I, I hate going to the gym. I don't know where to start. I'm not motivated. The thing I say is, I think you're just starting way too hard, way too fast. You're trying to add in all these different things so quickly. I'm trying to do cycling class. I'm trying to do hit training. I'm trying to do strength training because that person does it. Like you've not found the thing that works for you. Start small, start with a walk, start with adding in hydration. Like more hydration into your diet. Start um, working out with a friend, change your music playlist, like so small. And don't go to the quick magic pill, the quick fix. Like that's Great what advice. I would say to people. Kayla, we love having you here. Thank and don't listen so to Dina, you do need to be here. We wanna see you again, because <laughs> we could talk to you for hours, but we're Thank gonna try guys. and get to know you as quickly as possible <laughs> with our 60 second DXB in 60. Katie? Right, we want to learn more right. about you. Okay. I know, and we <laughs> genuinely have shocked her now. Don't worry, quick fire questions, 60 seconds, as many questions as you can. Okay. Ready? Is that like one word answers? Potentially. Oh God, no, okay, go, go. We'll have 60 seconds on the <laughs> clock and we'll start in three. Two, one. What was your first job? I worked at a bakery. Oh, nice. What was your motto in life and work? What is your motto in life and work? My motto in life and work is, I don't know, stay humble, be you, remember where you came from. Oh, very nice. Uh, what's your go-to dream destination? Oh, my go-to dream destination. No, uh, sorry, your go-to or your dream destination. I'm gonna say Greece. Oh yeah. Or Dubai. I'm gonna say Dubai, don't that I? Makes sense. And um, what's your go-to comfort food? Um, abu lemon or soup. All the Greeks. 
<laughs> Everyone's like, mm-hmm. Um, what is, if you could only do one workout for the rest of time, what would it be? <laughs> It's like influencer ask questions. Yep, it's on my car. One so. workout for the rest of my life, probably a mobility session. Oh, very nice. Okay, we're all like, uh-huh. Um, what's a film or TV series you're recommending at the moment? The Rookie. Oh, my God. The first season, no. But then they got budget, <laughs> and it was so good. Okay, and last question. It's going to be an easy one for you. Why Dubai? We love Dubai, guys. You guys, Dubai Active. It's just absolutely incredible. Get around it. Get to Dubai Active. <laughs> Wherever the camera, <laughs> camera is. <laughs> Thank you. That's it. Thank you Done. So much, guys. Thank We're you. Done. Thank you, Kayla. It has been amazing and inspiring as ever to have you. So uh, don't you be a stranger. So we'll see her on Sunday for boot camp, obviously. Yeah, Faris and I are ready. Yeah. They are not coming. <laughs> I'm going to put money on it. Well, for all of you watching, don't you go anywhere. The inspiration's just beginning. Plus, we've got an epic performance from the Venus and Chili Band. See, see you in a second. Hey guys, this is Venus and the Chili Band. Blessing in this, guys, I was able to visit one of their gigs um, and then we were able to gig together, to jump together and that was like, there was a spark and all and then we just connected and the per first performance was like, totally like there's a spark. So we decided to like create our own band as well. So we can wait for you to watch us. See ya.